Now, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have defended themselves after facing criticism for using their Sussex titles and royal crest on a newly launched website. The couple have replaced their Archwell page with a new site called Sussex.com. Fueling speculation, they are trying to reinvigorate their media careers. But critics warn that uh, using their royal titles and coat of arms for what appears to be a commercial purpose online could provoke complaints from the palace. Uh, we're still joined in the studio by former Conservative advisor Leon M. Morali. And uh, unusually, I'm going to speak up for the gruesome twosome from Montecito here because uh, the deal that they made when they uh, sort of uh, fled from Britain to start a new life in sunny California with her, the then Her Majesty the Queen, was that they would not use the HRH title, the, the His and Her Royal Highness. Uh, apart from that, I think they're free to use anything. I'm not saying that this website isn't rather gauche and is, isn't rather obviously an attempt to cash in on their royal status, but I don't believe they've broken the technicalities of their agreement. No, they might not have done, but they're doing the royal okie koki, aren't they? It's yeah, one foot that, in yeah, yeah. and it's one foot out. And, yeah. and I think that's ultimately what yes. they've got to decide. Do they want to continue cashing in on their association with the royal family, which, as you say, Kevin, they're prerogative, but slightly distasteful, in my view, yeah. as yours. Yeah. Uh, and I think, or do they just completely remove themselves and go down the private sector route uh, and continue doing what they're doing? And I think it is something distasteful that you're using. The, the the hallmarks of the royal family, ultimately, to make money uh, as private individuals. And I think that that has to be considered wrong, even if it isn't technically wrong. Yeah, I mean, part of me thinks that, fine, if you wanted to clear off to California, try and live off Daddy's allowance that uh, Prince Harry claims he doesn't have, um, and, you know, go about the place glad-handing people at various paid-for award ceremonies, then fine, <laughs> do it, mm. but just don't tool about as if you're still... A royal, because yeah. you're not. You either are in it and doing it properly, or you're not. It's interesting. I mean, you know that the website is basically a parody. It's just so good <laughs> to sort of troll. Um, and when you look at the write-ups of who they are, what they've come from, you know, poor old Meghan once upon a time was eating gruel, and now she's saving the world. Can you believe it, Prince, um, no, but listen Harry? To, listen to the biography. Yeah, exactly. This is Prince Matt. Harry on himself. Right. Uh, the Duke of Sussex is a uh, Duke of Sausage. <laughs> Yeah, Duke of Sausage <laughs> is a humanitarian, uh, a military veteran, mental health advocate, and environmental campaigner. Really? Can't wait uh, to get that uh, Meghan, Meghan, apparently, the Duchess of Sussex, is a feminist and champion of human rights and gender equity. And apparently, the company Archwell is promoting uh, great causes through business. Uh, it, it, you know, the, the pomposity. The self-glorification here is on another level, yeah. isn't it? Kevin's given them an idea, I think. What about Harry and Meghan sausages as, there a, you as go. a new line of new way to make money? But <laughs> I, I think that you know, I'm not. A, I'm I'm quite sanguine about Harry and Meghan. I'm not exercised either way. I I say that good for them if they want to leave the royal family. But leave the royal family. And what are they doing? Are they sort of statesmen and stateswomen going around touring Davos <laughs> and the world circuit, giving speeches about women in poverty and the environment, as Harry claims? Or are they celebrities where they, they belong on the sort of, you know, tabloid pages and, and doing what, they, what celebrities do? Mm. Because they're trying to straddle the two. And I think ultimately it's going to yeah, backfire for them because mm. proper politicians, proper statesmen are looking at them thinking, you're not one of us. And the celebs are looking at them thinking, you're not really one of us either. So where do they fit? I think it's all going to unravel. Yeah. I think this is being interpreted as a sort of blatant, uh, obvious attempt to uh, recalibrate their uh, declining media fortunes mm. over there. Uh, you know, new website, new life, new couple, come on, invest in us. Uh, but uh, isn't uh, quite working Maybe out. Maybe Harry can come and sit in for you when you're on holiday. Yeah, uh, <laughs> you wouldn't like that much. <laughs> you think I'm bad. Uh, we'll be discussing this story later oh, on, imagine. obviously. Um,